If you liked my performance just now, please consider like, subscribing, and checking out our new website, naglory.fans. Today, I just want to be able to share with you a fun little Raz gameplay that I had. All of my teammates are veterans, and spoiler alert, the other side is also veterans, but uh, it still was a good game. So I, I decided I needed to share. Um, I've been doing translations um, basically for the last two weeks and uh, time for a little bit of my own content, right? All right, let's see this. So, Raz, why did I pick Raz? Well, the other side had Brunhilda, they had Violet, and they were locked in before myself. So I was like, okay, let's pick Raz. Raz can really counter them, I think. And uh, L'Oreal, well, um, as long as I could get my early game good, like getting my fireballs in like this, then I should be okay. And uh, it ends up that I'm going to be able to do this quite a lot to her. Two fire surges and uh, three now, and she's at half health. Well, lower than half, and she had to pop that enhanced restore. So that's really excellent for me. Omega spots out the Grack over there. Grack, um, of course will sometimes like to just disrupt your jungle that's one of the plays that Grack can do right um but i was stationed over towards our own red side because emily started red so even if Grack wanted to disrupt the blue side he would just be wasting his time so over here we get a nice knockback and then l'oreal had to use his second her second so right now i know that all she's thinking about is trying to get back so i push my minions using my passive ability um every third normal attack is a pushback into the tower so i can clear a little bit faster Rast does not have the best lane clear and over here, we're just going to be poking people out a little bit. I missed my second fire surge, though, but that is all right. My mid wave is here. L'Oreal was completely missing from that fight. And here she is on the map, so I know I could just walk straight through. Junglers started off on the blue side, too, so there was no chance that they were over there. I share the wave with Emily over here. Emily wants to go for the Spirit Sentinel, so I'm going to move my way to the top side of the map. And then we spot a lane. I have no idea how low he is, but this is great. We get the ambush onto him. And then Tony Funny is their jungler. And uh, right now we're just going to be able to bully her. I thought that was going to be a landed over there. I thought this one was going to land as well, but two power surges missed. I was like, I'm having no more of that flicker time. And so uh, I just flickered and won that staying here over here to poke out the um elaine as he comes back i couldn't really stay anymore um just because i have my wave coming in i don't really know where other people are Grack could be making his way over here so anyway we take our uh sweet time to just take out another enemy monster i'm letting emily share my gold as you know good mids could do <laughs> I mean, I used to get really upset when people take my um, middle gold, but then nowadays I'm feeling like as long as I get my assist, that's enough. A little bit of poke over here. And then I could share like, you know, enemy minion gold, enemies uh, monster camp gold. That is much better for the team as a whole um, than if we don't share the gold, I think. All right, here. Down over there, they're already fighting, but I'm still lane clearing. Honestly, I didn't think they were going to fight that because it was obvious that I couldn't fight yet. And then all of a sudden, four on three, they did a four for zero trade. So I'm just going to camp over here. I thought I saw the L'Oreal pretty low. It ends up being Tony coming over here. Tony funny. I'm going to wait for her to come close enough. And then also Malak is coming here. So I feel completely safe after this. Um, I would have just ran if someone else came over here, but again, L'Oreal was um, low. That's why she probably just ended up recalling instead of coming back mid. That's a good thing for her because if she had came back mid, I would have killed her instead. Emily does a sweet thing over here because we just killed the enemy what? Jungler. And then their red is up, so we're going to attack the red buff over here. Ultimate coming down for a lane. I'm just going to dodge that one or actually pull him back towards my team. So at least he's going to die. And then over here, we're just chasing down Tony Furry. Funny. Tony Funny, the violet. <laughs> um, and then come back for the red buff. 
I'm a little bit poked out though, so I probably have to back soon, I think. We'll see what I do over here. Oh, okay. Okay, I remember. I wanted to go for this blue buff. Now, this blue... Nobody's coming, so I'm a little bit in trouble here. I thought... Lorio wasn't gonna come, but anyway, she did, so I'm just gonna trade for some HP over there and back out. My teammate comes out, though, and so we can now fight again, so I'm back at it. But unfortunately, not really able to land any of my skill shots. Pretty upset about that, so I decided, okay, you know what? Ultimate in 3, 2, 1. Here we go, I'm gonna kill this Violet. I think I have enough damage, right? Oh, she rolled right into me. And then I had to push the other way. Oh man, that was unfortunate. I thought I had enough damage, but looking back at it, I should have waited for my Hecate's Deactum. Or waited for her to commit to one side and then push her instead of going under the tower for that. Uh, the game even delayed the shutdown PA announcement. Ouch. As of telling me that, yes, you made a mistake. Remember it. Uh. So sad. Here's the boomstick. I have to remember this. Boomstick at what? 2.7k? Okay. 2.7k. I just have to be a little bit more patient and know my limits to play within it, right? Okay. A little bit of that Lotto stuff. So over here, little detail. I'm pushing all my minions together so I can use my skill shots on them all together. Your ultimate and your uh, first ability are all aoe only your second skill is not so i usually like to um second skill at least this is what i've seen like people like hack do when he was uh when he was still playing raz and stuff like that he would second ability the second minion and then have all the minions get a chance or something like he was either do the second one or the third one okay if it was a cannon he would probably do the cannon and then he was try to get all of them to around the same blood level um with the help of your own minion wave and then he would kill them all together that was the fastest way to do it over here grax hook actually hooks me mid alt that was a slightly awkward but i did my job in terms of what i wanted to do which was really to keep the back line zoned away and that was okay and we're gonna be able to click down this mid tier mid mid tower just fine I'm a little low though, so I'm just gonna have to back and get out of here. Your team has destroyed a tower. Right now I'm wishing that I have the, uh, the what's it called? Welcome the Rhea's the Blessing. Yeah, I think Rhea's Blessing is really good when you're in a lead. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the high level players will do this. When they're in a lead, they're gonna slightly push forward some, some selections of equipment and then just change it up a little bit but nobody really talks about it explicitly well, actually no i think they do it's just it's hard to find so just anytime i guess i can't talk about it i just i will so then you as a viewer can get it all right over here we're just looking at the map wisp can push in this tower we just killed the violet violet is coming out in three uh so anyway People are going to come towards this bottom tower. So, Emily, myself, we have the Elaine showing up top. We can fight this over here if we want, at least destroy a tower, and that's exactly what we do. And now we're gonna get out of here. But I really want this cannon, so okay, why not? That's a really, I think, classic spot for ambush. I've talked about it when I play my Delta and Delta videos as well. Uh, we'll talk about it again because oh wait a sec <laughs> i remember that i missed it the last time i tried to make this commentary but uh i didn't know he was there this is just the rewards of having good habits you know whenever you're trying to go into those bottleneck areas people might be ambushing you like you think you're so smart you think that um you know you've thought of going there first while well, other people will have probably thought about that and then be ready to counter you so you got to be sure about it and check in the bush like the way emily and i was over there we were expecting people to um basically go and defend the wisp push so right 
over there small detail um i just decided that i wanted to get a hit on the tower however i knew that people were coming back out so i moved behind the tower so i can use my passive ability to actually move away um from the fight as i hit the tower I push in the middle wave and now I'm going to go in and trade for this Tony Funny and the reason I did that was because Brunhilda is dead we have a really good chance to be able to push down some towers some high ground towers at that if we are able to just limit their wave clear capabilities so we have four other people I think this is going to be a good trade as you will see we're going to be able to take down basically all three of their towers basically all right the one thing i'm going to talk about in terms of raz while this is going on over there in the background is how do you tell when raz is passive is ready so his passive so again is the one where his third raz normal passive. attack is a correctly i just want to do the animation portion so i took off my headset to get a little bit more degrees of freedom first of all you want to be stopped without any target in sight and then auto attacking right here that minion that monster camp was uh, in plain sight so then I wasn't able to auto attack but you can see Raz passive can get you through walls and stuff so you got to learn how to do this first one like this second one uppercut like that okay and then the third one is another jump through like this okay wait I don't even know if I did that very well but um kind of like this let's see it okay wait I think I have to actually just be on my knees over here okay so the first one is kind of like this and then he walks forward just a little bit second one he's like this and he swings forward and the third one he actually jumps through like that okay all right there was just a very simple flank flanking maneuver um alt in nothing too much over there and um over there i actually missed a chance if i i knew that uh, the violet would be moving away so you could actually pair it up with uh with your passive so what your passive will do is he'll transport you a little bit right so he's gonna go like this he's gonna go jump and then he'll do the fireball which uh which i think is i don't know his fireball is like poof, something like that i don't know but you get the idea um i haven't been able to get that yet but overall pretty nice ras game i thought uh so hope you enjoyed it and my little demonstration of the animation definitely look out for it it's a lot of fun he he's got like what perfect form on the muay thai pretty amazing i did a little bit of muay thai myself um just just for fun um he's probably a lot better than i am anyway 29 percent damage um it's decent i thought it was gonna go higher but we did miss a couple misplay a couple of times so yeah anyway fun little different thing uh than our translated video